I don't want to be involved in conspiracy theories. I, you know, there are lots of them. They can go on. We can speculate on that forever. What we really need to know is how, how those buildings came down. World Trade Center 7 collapsed because of fires fueled by office furnishings. It did not collapse from explosives or from fuel oil fires. To undermine scientific integrity is to undermine our democracy. This is what NIST has done, denied and ignored crucial evidence. The American people absolutely need the truth of 9-11. More than 1,500 architects and engineers and 12,000 others, including many scientists, have signed the petition calling for a scientific investigation of the destruction of the Twin Towers and World Trade Center Building 7. The report, issued by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, referred to as NIST, was not valid science. They're talking about a single columnar collapse or failure that resulted in a total collapse of the building. Building number seven uh, descended in free fall for the first 100 feet, which uh, means that there was absolutely no resistance to the descent whatsoever. So all of the columns really needed to be severed at the same time. The symmetry is the smoking gun. NIST has admitted it went into free fall for eight stories. You don't need to be an engineer or an architect to see what happened to those buildings. This is, this is controlled demolition. Sekerweten. Sekerweten. What I saw, it was a classic implosion. The center of the core, the penthouse area, starts to move first, and then the building follows along with it. NIST excluded the document uh, from FEMA in Appendix C that documented the evidence of melting steel. In an office fire, you cannot generate enough heat to melt steel. There were these iron microspheres present in all of the dust samples. They needed to have been formed in extremely high temperatures. All the characteristics of the microspheres, along with what I see in the attack of the, uh, the beams that were actually found, tell me that thermite was involved in melting those steel beams. In the dust, what we have found is a modern version of thermite, which we call nanothermite. NIST concedes that they found no evidence for explosives. So then we asked them, well, did you look? And they said, no, we did not look for explosives <laughs> or residues of explosives. And in fact, the evidence is overwhelming that these red-grade crystals are very high temperature incendiaries. And we have watched as scientific integrity has been undermined scientific research politicized in an effort to advance predetermined ideological agendas. If this is a crime, I think everybody agrees it's a crime, evidence was removed from the scene of the crime. You can't do science when you are deprived of the evidence and when your hypothesis is the least valid instead of the most likely. When the most likely hypothesis in, in the case of Building 7 wasn't even mentioned. Uh, this is not science.